Welcome to Multiplicity Crafts. Now that we got all of the disclaimers out of the way, let's get started on this Christmas ribbon tree from the Dollar Tree. So we're going to begin with a styrofoam cone. And again, these are from the Dollar Tree, so just $1. And that's actually a really good price because styrofoam can be a little bit expensive. And then we're going to use some satin ribbon. You can also find this at the Dollar Tree. And I actually got two spools of ribbon because one isn't quite enough. And I'm going to cut the ribbon into sections that are approximately three and a half, four inches long, somewhere in there. I didn't measure them. I just cut them to the length that I knew would work. And what you'll do is loop the ribbon and affix that to your styrofoam cone with a straight pin. So the way I did it was I stuck the straight pin through the ribbon and then stuck it onto the styrofoam cone. And I got to thinking it would just be easier to go ahead and just loop it and then hold it to the cone and then put the pin through. But I just did it this way and it worked also. So once you get the pin into the styrofoam cone, just be sure to press the pin into the cone really firmly because if not, it'll slide out. And so you can see here, I'm just continuing to add the loops and go all the way around the bottom, trying to keep them as even as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect because Christmas trees do have different lengths of branches. Like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, keep them pretty well in a straight line. So as we continue around the bottom of the tree, I also want to let you know that this camera angle was a little bit different and the lighting isn't the greatest, so I promise I'll do better in future videos. This was just a quick video I shot and not to my standard, so I apologize for that. Hopefully you'll forgive me for this one and you can get the idea of this craft. I did want to get this video out in time for Christmas and all of the Christmas crafting. So as you can see, whenever it's completed, it does kind of flare out at the bottom. Now, if you don't want that, you can start your uh, little loops up a little bit higher on the cone, or you can add a booster underneath. And when I say booster, I mean like a little riser for the bottom. And I'll show you later what I use for that. You could also add the bottom layer that's flared out in a different color, and that way it would almost kind of look like a tree skirt. But it's up to you because, you know, we're all creative in our own ways, so you just decide what you feel is best. And on the next layer that we go up on the tree, you'll notice that I have the bottom of the loop covering the previous little straight pin underneath it. And so we'll just repeat the process, go all the way around the diameter of the tree and making sure that the bottom part of the ribbon is covering the little pin underneath there. All of these ribbons are the same length. Now when we get up to the top of the tree, you'll want to make your ribbons just maybe an inch or so shorter just so they look more natural because the branches at the top of the tree are not going to be this long. There's not really an exact science to it and I didn't even record the top part of the tree because I figured you kind of get the idea that we're just doing the same thing all the way around the tree. Just going around, looping the ribbon and sticking the straight pins into the ribbon to affix it to the cone. So all of this I think cost me like maybe five dollars total. So this is a really inexpensive craft but yet you can add your own supplies that you have from home to enhance it. So here is a picture of what it looks like when I have the second layer and you're just going to continue up the tree. So like I said, you get the idea. So we'll go ahead and go to the top of the tree. You're going to add a straight pin into one side of your ribbon, make a loop and put another straight pin into the other side. And that'll make a little peak for the top of your tree. And I'm just using the broad side of my scissors to help push that pin into place. After doing so many pins, your fingertips might get a little bit uh, touchy, so you might want to use um, a thimble or something to help push in the pins. Again, I'm going to add another ribbon, but this one's going to be going the opposite way. And this will just support that little peak at the top of our tree. And I'm going to loop that through the previous loop and pin that into place on the opposite side. Now, if you're detail oriented like me and you notice things, you will notice there is a straight pin sticking out the side of my cone there. 
That's because I put the straight pin in the top at too sharp of an angle. I did fix that later, so don't worry. Just a little bit of a mistake I left in there, so you can learn from that. Thankfully, I did not get injured on the pokey, pointy part of the pin. Wow. So, anyway, I just cut off the excess ribbon, and my scissors are actually pretty good at cutting ribbon, but they're paper scissors, so they are not really meant to cut ribbon, but they did a good job. Then to finish it off, I wrapped a straight piece of ribbon, well obviously it's straight, and looped it around kind of in a ribbon shape, if you will, and pinned that. And then I covered the little pin with a bow I made out of a pipe cleaner. And here's what it looks like. And I think that looks pretty good, but you could add actual ribbon. Now here is the little booster riser things I was telling you about. It's just the empty ribbon spool that we used. I'm adding an alternate color of ribbon onto the ribbon spool and gluing that into place. And that's going to give us a pretty little base to our tree. So you'll see here, it's kind of boosted up. You can actually use two, uh, two ribbon spools that are empty and just add whatever color ribbon you want. And this is what it looks like. So it gives it a nice look and it helps that bottom layer not flare out. Here's a full length view and that does look pretty good, but I decided I wanted some bling. So I added some flat back gems onto the tree and it's completed. Now you could add a little garland or whatever you choose with baker's twine or supplies you can find at the Dollar Tree, but I called it good and left it done here. I hope you enjoyed this project and I thank you so much for watching.